uh, a second thing you need to do is uh, disable your antivirus we are about to use a software a very very complicated software uh, sometimes one of the good antiviruses uh, such as Kaspersky will automatically delete because of the way the code is written so it's very important to disable because once you have the shadow mode or any uh, particular software which likes of uh, a deep freeze nothing is going to happen in your system and the last thing i do is whenever i create this kind of program i always use uh, the proxy hide my ass which is very useful because you can hide your ip address anywhere it is genuine and is one of the best one uh, for us to create uh, uh, this hc sealer we need to have a free host a php is the ideal one i'm going to search things like neq3 you can get a um, a free sc panel which is useful for this uh, purpose if i click this one the second things i do is just go free plus a sign up you need to have a genuine email so you can uh, receive your activation then i'll click order here and you have to have a a genuine email for you to get the activation and i'll use uh, my own email which is solarphp at gmail.com which is one of my favorite subjects password one more time and then we've got here a capture which is uh, a nightmare sometimes you have to try again again 63z after that they just say uh, create an account and uh, after the creation of account as you can see a pending and confirmation is in here the reason why you need to have a, a genuine email is the system will send email to your email the email you registered with so if i go to my email gmail now as you can see there's nothing to it here there's nothing it's empty click inbox straight away go back here and you see you've got two spam run this one select and just say non-spam Go here, forget the first one is for the sign up and the second one is client sign up confirmation. You need to confirm this one. Click this one. Yeah, the only thing you need to do is just uh, click the C panel here to confirm for the signing. You might have a pop up of uh, um, a forgery or fake uh, a website, but just say ignore this and let's try to connect and that's it. Everything is done. It's not forgery. This is not forgery. Just, just ignore it. After that, just select the Venus here. I select and that's it what we need to do is just to create a subdomain you can use your domain if you've if you have a, a registered domain you can you can use actually but you don't have to because this is uh, for testing purposes anyway let me just try to use solar php sola php and uh, use a basic a password i can remember that i can use after and then one more time then again, we need to use this i7w56. If everything is okay, then it will create account for us. The character you enter does not much. What a surprise. This happens all the time. It's, it's not good at all. Let me make sure the password matches together. And now even it's more complicated. So I don't think it will go through nine d eight r yeah you can try again and again yeah excellent now it's creating an account for us it says it takes about 24 hours 12 hours but it's not it's not going to take that it takes less than that after you see this one just go to the dashboard here and that's it after that you've got the solar php dot zero zero three dot co venus active it switch to the account then as you can see this is the cpanel we can use to do everything you can even create a website everything is in here nothing is missing at all so you go all the way down go to the website and just say import databases so we have to create a database say create a database and then to make it easy for everybody just say php and php you see everything is the same u58 all the way down is the same nothing different Use same password for the sake of simplicity. Okay, let me make sure password is correct. 
and then a create then we'll have a see the basic mysql manager finish the job just copy this right click copy and i remember the password and just go to the notepad paste here this and this is the same and this is the host and i remember the password that's it it's done from here so after this what i need to show you is if i go here i've got the software hsc still you can download from the description side of the youtube video double click this you've got database dll and this is the software i was telling you early if you do not disable your antivirus it will delete automatically we've got index.php and that cascading styles your css so minimize just go back to the main the best way to go back is just go all the way down here and just write here index and enter and now i go back to the same place so what i need to do go to the database with the database uh, go all the way down advanced database click my php my admin and now the database is here enter php my admin then we are seeing the familiar php my admin just say import and browse and then what i need to do is just go to hc sealer a database open go then id program url login password computer date everything is in here nothing is missing at all now just close this one and uh, i just have to go back to the same place again which is always index. Yeah, this is where you have to go. Before I do anything else, desktop, HC Stealer, double click this one. And now, remember earlier, I copy this. Just go all the way down here. Just copy one time because the only time you need is one time this one. You don't need it because it's the same. This for the username and that the name is the same. So I go a database user here in the middle right click and paste that's done and a second things i need to do is go to the database name which is this one in the middle here make sure right click and paste that's done and then i need to uh, copy this one right click copy and this is the name of uh, the host the company which is hosting for us and the last thing is the password I created early, which is unhidden. And then the last thing we need to do is username and password. This is for the login and admin site. Admin and admin, then I'll use the same password for me to remember. And that's it done. After this, just minimize this one, close this one, uh, save this one, then go back the uh, same place where you were early. Just go down all the way find a file manager file manager just here click this one and then say install just wait for a couple of seconds installing the file manager once you finish just say view result and a pop-up will come a big screen just wait a little bit yeah this is the one and then we've got default.php here what i need to do is just a create a folder click this plus create new folder right click this is the name of your uh, website. Just say rename. Let me call PHP and double click this. And then I go to a file, no file selected. Go to the desktop, the index I changed early, plus a style, a CSS. Copy all the way. Everything is done here. Minimize this one. And just go back to the same place which is always index to make sure everything is functioning if you click solid.php.003 you see the website is running then if i uh, right click and i add a php enter what i can see is my home page where everything is going to come okay let's say admin and then the password and then log in now as you can see it says hello admin we're logged in this is where we can get all the information if the trojan is working fine so the first thing i need to do is just go to the desktop double click this one hd stealer 
And then for me to test, this is where we will be creating all the details. Activate this one and let me write HTTP, HTTP, two slashes and our desktop is, let's remove one, just say HTTP, this is my website, remember, so php.003.co.php, just test, a trial, just test, go to this side, and let's say refresh, what do you see, Firefox website, sample, just picked up, this is a test, and everything is working fine, so, now, let's just go back this side, and just say, a settings, and now, you can choose anything you want, no IP, FileZilla, Firefox, Opera, Facebook, Messenger, whatever. Everything. So it's just say run on a startup for you to create. If you want a sound, do you like to melt after execution? You know, delete. No, just leave it as it is. Let's say error message in load, error that occurred, test. This is what everybody will see once they double click the software. Whatever you create the software, it doesn't matter. This is what they see. So if you want to create a remote, if you want to change a lot of things, you can do it, no problem at all. If you're very happy, just say generate. Once you say generate, we'll have a smiley, not so smiley face. And you can create icons and other stuff here. The server name will be this one. That's it. Server has been generated. Go here. And you have output here. This is a Trojan. What I usually do is right click. Property. And just say hot girl and then you can even change this to image this is trojan a serious looking trojan let me test to my system i've got shadow mode here i'm not worrying at all double click i'm just going to get some errors that's it and nobody really looks once you get the error you just think oh the system is playing up and that's it but you're infected a virus is there trojan is there a kilo just there then you can carry on USB or you can send to your friends or you can hear the sound and you see these kind of things. This is the one we created early. Okay. Now if I go back this side and let me remove this one so we know what we're doing. Delete. You see? I refreshed and everything on my system, all my passwords, everything you see. Even I can see Microsoft Windows 7 Ultimate, the key here, which is visible the rest of them. Some of them are hashed, but the most of them, everything you see, then the only thing you need to do is always 